Hello again, it's Locke Noob, and today we're going to answer a question I get so often, but I never really answered it. And that is, what locks would I recommend to a beginner? And I want to go through my top 10 beginner's locks, which will take a beginner from super beginner all the way up to a good intermediate level. And I wanted to make sure that I included locks which I knew were available across sort of Europe, Canada, and the US of A, because that forms the majority of my audience. I also know that these are lock brands which are available across the world, so I hope that it will be pretty helpful. Right, without further ado, and in rough difficulty order, first up, the good old Master Lock 3. It's a four pin lock, standard pins, no security pins, a nice wide open keyway, very easy to tension, likes a lot of heavy tension as well. Really great to pick, lots of clicks on the pins, a perfect lock for beginners, and Pretty much any of the laminated master locks are the same, the master lock 5 for example. Next up, the master lock 140. They have very shallow spool pins in, which offer a little bit more challenge than the master lock 3 and others like it. Still got nice wide open keyways, four pin locks, very nice. If you can get hold of the European version, then get hold of that because it has some really, really nice spools in. Next up, the master lock Magnum or XL or M1, depending on what you're looking at. And these are laminated master locks, but they have a sprung core, which means you have to fight against the spring tension of the core, which will return the core back to its original position. Still working on four pin keys though, with standard pins on the inside. So yes, pretty good, but you do have to work on that tension balance. My fourth recommendation are these small brass ABUS padlocks, like the ABUS 6040 here, we start to get paracentric keyways, this Yale style keyway if you will. They have five pins and they are really good spools. I recommend these because despite the small keyway, they give excellent, excellent feedback on the spools. Very good for learners. Next up, I'd recommend trying to learn something like a Yale laminated five pin padlock with the classic Yale paracentric keyways, sort of a standard size keyway five pins on the keys, uh, but usually a bit more of an extreme bitting due to the extra room in these locks, which makes them a little bit more tricky. If you like picking spool pins and you're able to get hold of these European locks, I really would recommend any sort of Chisa or Cisa, IFAM or Vero locks. They've got excellent feedback, five or six pins, lots of spools in, uh, but it's not past my list. At six, I'd recommend moving on to something like the Master Lock Pro Series, or if you can't get hold of those, uh, the Master Lock 931 or 911s. They have lots of quite nice spools in. The keyways are usually set deep into the lock, which provides an extra challenge. The cores are sprung. They're five pins with spools, and the keyways themselves are surprisingly tight and not as easy to tension as some other locks. Next up, we actually continue with a Master Lock Pro lock. However, this time we actually have six pins instead of five pins, which provides that extra challenge. At number eight, my next recommendation to move on to is something like the Federal 90A. We have driver pins, which are spools and serrated with some serrations on the key pins. Yes, the keyway is a little bit wider and non-paracentric, but the core is sprung and usually you can get quite good bittings on these. They're six pins and they do offer a pretty reasonable challenge. If you can't get hold of a Federal 90A, one of these matlock padlocks, well, they're essentially the same thing. At number nine, we have the ABUS 7240. You might look at the keyway and think nothing very special. You might look at the key though and have another opinion. These little six pin locks often have quite extreme bittings and do take a bit of work to pick for the first time, I find. Very, very good locks and a little bit more tricky to pick than you might first imagine. Just as an honorable mention to people who might not be able to find a Federal 90A or an ABUS 7240 and want an alternative, I would definitely recommend the Packlock and the Packlock Pro. Uh, these are really, really fun locks to pick, the Packlock Pro core being considerably harder to pick, um, but I don't know how easily available the Packlocks are to everybody outside of the US. And finally, my last recommendation at number 10 in my list, the hardest lock, I think, 
out of all of these is the American Lock 1100 series padlock. It is a fantastic lock to learn to pick. It's got a sprung core. The driver pins include standard pins, serrated pins and serrated spool pins. We've got serrated key pins as well. Uh, the bittings can be really quite wonderful. You can get them pinned to five or like this, six pins. Really, really fun and one of my absolute all-time favorite locks for the feedback and experience in picking. If I had to choose one lock that I would just keep to, to enjoy picking, it would probably be this one. And um, certainly it can provide a challenge. There are some easier ones and there are some really hard ones. So definitely recommend this. So there you go. Those are my top 10 padlocks for beginners. I really, really hope you enjoyed that video. And I truly think that if you started at the beginning of this list and worked your way all the way to the end, you'd have a fantastic picking and learning experience. You would get to learn about picking locks from four pins to six pins. You get to understand how sprung cores against non-sprung cores would feel, what different bittings are like, how different security pins affect the picking, including serrated pins, serrated spools, spool pins there's key ways to navigate here which range from wide open to really tight i think there's something here for everybody to learn from as a beginner and trust me all of these locks are fantastic locks to pick you're going to have fun even if you only pick a handful of these so if you like this video please do leave a like if you have a comment about this video if you agree with me or disagree with anything or in particular, which would be really helpful, if you've got another lock you'd recommend to beginners, um, another lock maybe that has a different learning experience or gives a different sense of satisfaction um, or a different challenge, then please let everybody know in the comments. That would be really helpful to other beginners looking through these comments, maybe looking for other locks they can't get hold of. If you like content like this, please drop me a subscribe. It really helps my channel out. If you have any other ideas about any other videos you'd like to see in a series like this about lock recommendations again let me know be really interested to know and I, what I might do is I might combine all the um, full raw footage of me picking my way through these locks uh, over on my side channel for you to have a look at if you so wish I think I've pretty much picked all of these locks on my channel already but um, as a little compilation it might be of interest right and on that note I'll see you all next time